How's it going, YouTube? Right, today we've got an AI box by Autocast. What this one is, is the Play 2 Video Pro. It's an all-in-one multimedia adapter for your car. As we've discussed before, you need an active CarPlay uh, system in your car. Uh, it can be the wired one, so you just plug in wired. These AI boxes, these do a few things. Uh, what they'll do firstly, of course, is they'll make your wired CarPlay wireless. Uh, they'll also make it wireless Android Auto. Uh, this particular one by Autocast, uh, this model here, this one kind of sits halfway between some of the ones we've done before. So uh, we did Carlink kit, one that was quite highly priced, which was a really high spec one that had 4G and everything. Then we've done ones down at the bottom of the scale, which are just a really cheap, plug it into your wired CarPlay and then that makes it wireless. This one kind of sits halfway between that because this is an Android based system. Uh, so we've got all of the operating system, the Android operating system on it. So you can download all the apps and things like that. And it's not got the 4G, uh, but it's a lot cheaper. So you, you're kind of like halfway between the cost of the, the, the high spec ones with the 4G and everything and the really cheap ones that's just a, a dongle. Uh, th this is kind of sits halfway. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll get this down on the bench, we'll open up this box, we'll have a quick look at it, then we'll nip out to the car, we'll plug it in, we're going out to the... I've got a Hyundai Tucson. Um, I've been told off before for calling it a Tuscan, it's not, it's a Tucson. So we'll go out to that, it's a 2019 model, it's got wired CarPlay in it. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll plug this in and we'll make it work and we'll have a quick look at it. So let's get down on the bench and have a look what you get in this box. Right, here we are, here it is in the box. Let's get this open, open and have a look what you get inside it. Right, open it up. We've got a little protection pad there. Uh, first thing you see, obviously, is the device itself. We'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, next thing down, we've got a little manual there telling you how to use it, usual things. In the bottom, we've got a little box with some cables in. Let's have a look what we get. Uh, we've got a, a USB-A to USB-C. The USB-C is the device itself. And um, we've got a USB-C to USB-C connector there, just in case you've got USB-C in your vehicle. Right, back to the device itself. As you can see, it's got like a little carbon fibre pattern on it, make it look nice. Uh, we've got little vents down the side there just to keep it cool because I'm assuming these things get a little bit warm when they're running. Uh, we've got USB-C on one side, this is the power in. Uh, on the other side we've got a USB-A if you want to use in that for pass-through charging or I'm assuming you can use it to plug in some additional storage with some music and what have you on it. Uh, this device is currently on the Autocast website. I'll put links down below to where you can get this. It's currently on there for £132, so it's quite a bit cheaper than the other ones. It's a little bit more than the ones that are just a dongle itself. Uh, the website says it runs on Android 12. According to the website, you cannot add uh, extra applications onto it, uh, but it's got some built-in. It's got five of the most popular Netflix and things like that, so we'll have a look at that. Uh, so you can use the streaming services on it. Obviously, this will make your car play wireless. It'll also add wireless uh, Android Auto to it. So if your vehicle doesn't support that and it only has uh, wired car play, you can make it wireless Android Auto by using this box. Uh, to watch the streaming services, you can give this box internet via a Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone. This has got Wi-Fi built into it. I think that's about all we can look at here on the bench. I think what we need to do is we need to take this device, we'll go out to the car, we'll plug it in, and let's have a look at it working. Right, here we are in the vehicle. This is the standard stereo system that's in this Hyundai. If we have a look down here, this is where the nut CarPlay normally plugs in. This is like a wireless charging pad. And to get CarPlay to work on this system, you have to plug your CarPlay in wired uh, via this USB socket there. Uh, so what we need to do is we'll take this Autocast adapter and we'll plug it in via USB there. And then we should start see the CarPlay thing come up here as it turns on. There you are. It's just turned up there. So if I press that, we'll go into the CarPlay. As you can see, it's an Android system there that's popping up. That's not actually the CarPlay. It's connecting to this box here. All right, so what I'll do is let's set this camera up on a tripod and we'll have a quick look through this. All right, the first thing I want to do is I want to connect to this system via my iPhone here. So I'll search for it on Bluetooth. 
that's now connected we can see there play to video pro uh, connected uh, so obviously one of the first things we can do is if we go to this little green one here uh, this is your carplay we can press that and then this will connect to the carplay device there and as you can see, the CarPlay started up. Uh, now we're in normal CarPlay, just like everything else. Uh, so if I go back out to the main screen, if we press Home, uh, that'll take us back out to this beginning screen. This is the AutoCast UI. If we have a quick look across it, uh, we've got our Now Playing. Uh, this is the media, whatever you want to play now. Uh, you've got your free streaming services here set up on shortcuts you've got spotify netflix and youtube we'll have a look at those in a second uh, down here you've got some customizable shortcuts uh, so if i press and hold one uh, you can see there you can delete it and you press a little plus button and then we can add something else uh, these are the things that are currently connected let's say iptv and then that adds that shortcut onto there so these are a nice little shortcut screen for you there uh, down the bottom uh, we've got your bluetooth phone uh, your bluetooth music so you can play music directly from your phone via bluetooth uh, you've got a little media thing there for any locally stored uh, music or any uh, films or anything like that uh, there's actually some free space on the device itself uh, if i just go into settings quickly just to show you uh, there we are we see storage uh, 40 uh, 42 percent used we've got 9.2 gigabyte free so you can store some music and things directly on the device itself and then you'd be playing them from this location here uh, this little button here just seems to be like a little bit of a cache free up it says cleaned top condition when you press it uh, next one settings we'll have a look at that in a second and then you've got the little car one there which is your home button which takes you back to your main car stereo if you swipe right it gives you a few more shortcuts there uh, so there's your five installed applications that it was talking about before your iptv youtube music youtube video netflix and spotify uh, if we press this little arrow up uh, this takes us to all of the applications that are installed uh, so everything we've just spoke about oh it says there on that little rocket thing it says clean these so these are the applications that are currently installed on the system as we can see we've not got the android uh, play store so you cannot install more applications on this we're stuck with these applications that are on it but for this price range it's probably about right if i press settings uh, we can have a look through the settings we've got a usual there you've got your wi-fi setup uh, we've got personalization so you can set up how it wants to start for example uh, you've got there look choose apps to launch on startup so you've got your default mode which is that front screen uh, last memory so whatever you was looking at last say you was in your carplay for example it will start up straight away into carplay or a specific app and then you can choose an app that you want it to start up in and down below you've got a few more settings uh, installed applications uh, storage control display uh, let's turn it to dark theme because I just think it looks a bit posher, especially on a on a car vehicle. And then just down to your about and things like that, telling you your version numbers. Uh, so I'll set my phone up as a hotspot now. If I go into settings, uh, network and internet, let's see if we can find this hotspot. Turn on the Wi-Fi. Uh, there you can see my phone. So if we connect to my phone, as you can see, it says connected. So now if we go back out to the home screen. Uh, we'll try to start it up YouTube. There's my channel. Let's just start up one of the videos from last week. Uh, there we are. We're in full HD now. And as you can see, we've got our streaming services. I wouldn't recommend it, but obviously all your passengers can sit and watch YouTube videos whilst you're driving along. And it's the same for Netflix as well. If we go back to the home, um, I've not signed into this. So you've got the most popular streaming services set up on this device. Right, so just to show that we can do it, I've got an Android phone here. Let's connect via Android through the same device and we'll see if we can connect to Android Auto. Right, so if we go to Pair New Device, let's look for it again. Play to Video Pro. Uh, pair. Uh, that's all paired and active now. So if we go to Android Auto, that should pick it up and connect. Now, I've not used this phone for a while and it's downloading the Android Auto update. So I'll just sit here for a minute. Right, there we are. 
it's kicked in and it's going now it's updated now this little battery discharge warning this is my vehicle so as you can see there we are we're now connected to android auto uh, through carplay on the phone uh, so that's about all i can show on your system really so if we exit and go back to the main screen uh, that's probably about it Right, so there you have it. That's the AutoCast Plater Video Pro. Uh, it's quite a basic system, uh, but if that's all you're wanting is a few streaming services, you want to make your CarPlay or Android Auto wireless, uh, then this is the dongle for you. It seems to be pretty responsive. It does what it's supposed to do. It's got no frills. It's nothing super spectacular. Uh, you can't download any additional applications, obviously, uh, but for the price range, it's probably about right. So if that's what you're wanting to do, that's a decent little adapter. What I'll do is, like I said, I'll put some links below where you can check this thing out for yourself. If I've got any discounts or anything like that, I'll put those down in the description as well. So like the video if you liked it. Uh, comment below anything you want to say. And subscribe if you want to see more, especially around these and around the camp build or anything else. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Cheers.